Hello everybody. Today I am going to review this product. This was sent to me. It's a prototype and I think it solves a lot of problems with the diesel heater. Now I just finished setting it up so if you press up and down on this it takes you to the menu and you can copy the controller here. Clone remote. So you put the controller there. On, waiting for on, there we go, waiting for off, and there we go. Now this is capable of turning on and off your heater. It also manages the temperature and you're able to set a schedule. Now let's see. You hit right, you have all the time schedules that you can set, and this is where you activate it. Now I'm going to go to the garage and see how this pairs with my machine. I would really like to see how well this works. So swing is probably the most important feature on this. So that is basically the tolerance, so the difference in the temperature. So if I set this, we... Uh, to four degrees above Bam heating Okay, so it's going to be sending a message to your heater to turn on Every so often just to make sure it's on now Once you reach the temperature you set to it shuts the heater right off So it's really just going to be going up and down by four degrees if you have this set to four now it, there's no real limit to what you can set this to i don't think yeah i mean you could make it an oven in there if you wanted um. okay here i am at the heater we got uh an accurate reading that's due to the temperature reader being inside this unit not ideal but it works fine if you have it mounted on the wall and you're not charging the battery battery also messes with the reading so let's see uh, I didn't pair this but it's working all right I've confirmed that it works and it's paired with my machine I'm just gonna make sure that this is turned up to uh, about four I'd say, and uh, I'll turn this up, let's say 26. And this is definitely gonna trigger in the next little bit. This is the true temperature. Let's just, let's see what happens. I'll be back in an hour. Okay, that was roughly two hours. You can see the temperature is stabilized. It's a little bit off on the accuracy, but it did its job. It's turned the heater on and off a couple times so far. And I think it's warm enough now outside that it's probably going to stay off for the rest of the day. So I'm going to leave it on for another couple days. See how much fuel it uses. Right down there. It's got barely any. Going to add some. But this should be way more efficient than it was before. Before it just wouldn't shut off. So yeah, this does have a fail-safe mode That you can disable if you want, but if the battery gets low It just shuts the heater off and stops all function But if you have it plugged in all the time, there shouldn't be any issues, but yeah, you can see that temperature is climbing This is not going to turn on until the top number is four lower than the bottom number because the swing is set to four so if you wanted it to hover between, say, 18 and 22, then I would be setting this to 22, and it would be turning off and on. Well, I'm going away for a few days, so press and hold the center button. Heater off. Okay. But yeah, maintain the temperature all night. And I don't see a difference yet. We'll see. Okay, I've been using this guy for about three days now. 
it does a pretty good job actually it does exactly what they advertise although and uh, it does have one problem I don't like and I think you're gonna see it right here this turned on about 40 minutes ago that's normal it's running as long as it should but I'm turning the screen on just to check it's supposed to shut off at 18 the screen itself is offsetting the temperature reading by almost two degrees and it just stays on so long that usually when I go to turn on the screen it shoots up to the shutoff value and turns off it's not the biggest issue definitely still does what it's supposed to and I think one of the alternative devices to this one would be the afterburner but it's very expensive and this one is 70 US with the battery I believe it's ten dollars cheaper for the non battery version but yeah um, this product gets a thumbs up in my books I would recommend this to anybody trying to save fuel because it does a pretty good job see it just shot up because of the screen and now the heaters running the glow plug and doing the shutdown sequence of course but that's fine it's it's basically good it's um, not calibrated I didn't bother doing it this does have a two-point calibration system at any two points you can choose so you would maybe put it in the freezer with a thermometer and then calibrate it to that and then do room temperature and calibrate it for the second point I will have the owner's manual in video form pasted into the description along with the link on where you can buy this and thank you to Breck for sending me this prototype and if you enjoyed the video you know what to do thanks a lot have a good one